the thing IT nerds came up with about something something programming and culturally appropriated by everyone else who doesn't even know the meaning of the keyboard combination Alt F4. Now, where we probably lost half our audience due to this combination shutting down your computer, to the ones still remaining I say, welcome my fellow nerds and nerdettes. This year has been particularly hard on us. And in order to get a fresh perspective on things, we decided to take a look at our brightest, most promising minds who use their time in lockdown to tinker, create, expand and compress any ideas they can come up with. Brilliant people from all over Germany gather to collaborate on about 50 projects and compete in order to incubate a better tomorrow. That and to get a slice of the sweet sweet 150k of the winning pot powered by the DAAD, AI Campus, Hochschulforum, with whom we kinda, maybe, probably, but not really are associated with. We will take a look at our innovative avant-garde journeying to the society's limits and shortcomings ready to bridge these gaps with innovations. I personally would love to see innovation for the buzzword innovation, which used in 20 years will inform teenagers that I'm exactly from this generation. If you're watching this in 2040, your name is probably something like XAIA12, like the child of Elon Musk. To you, the impact of global synergy in times of big data mining in startup development into 2.0. Change these words around to any arrangement and you'll basically create every academic title of these past decade. But jokes aside, and without further ado, let's jump to our innovators impacting our global synergy in times of big data. Group awareness tools can collect information about the students and present them to the teacher. My vision is to wake up universities that they have the, all, all their stakeholders actually in mind. We are an alter ego called Lola, Lola's first semester. So um, our focus is uh, on the students um, who are having struggles with uh, mental health. We are focusing on how can we help migrants to, to do higher studies. We are trying to help with our solution companies and um, students to get the momentum, try to do something sustainable. Support, a network for support, for the support. To build a tool that connects students while they are watching educational videos. As a basis for this, we want to provide a platform that not only offers the possibility to communicate with other students, but also actively promotes the networking. With this the diversity of minds and the great motivation, they are already off to a good start. The projects were up and running and though there is an encouragement of 150k euros, the real winner will be education. As these students and educators prove, even though those clusters are vastly different, there have been a few astonishing patterns. A majority of projects have been focusing on the social part of the education. Take this for example, watching educational content alone but together. Similar to Netflix viewing parties, students view videos on their own, yet they are linked. The content can be paused anytime to discuss together. And yes, I mean being exposed to this facial expression, I wouldn't want to face him alone either. This project functions as a prime example for the need to emulate a social environment. As the pandemic denies us coming together in physical spaces, these solutions are making an effort to function as a bridge, making community building less difficult. And for you, XAA 112, Netflix is the streaming platform where you had to wait three hours for selecting a movie and never really got around to actually watch one anyway. Push that boy. The concept of this tool is a community-based approach to share working material more easily relying on open source standards and metadata. Readable for AI. Listen. We came up with our very own conspiracy theory that the recent conspiracy theorists are the result of smart people telling less smart people to just Google it for a decade. So that elimination supports your approach by quite a bit. Good luck with your project. Mystery matching. Speaking of smart people and less smart people, this might be the moment where the term sapiosexual finally gets an entrance into academic game. Since studying isn't about roaming the campus anymore, this platform enables random student matches and promotes random meetings. National and international students sign up to get a match on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis with students from the same uni. Basically, Tinder 
The participants faced big challenges in this two-day challenge for which they eagerly prepared themselves by stretching, hydrating, lots of pizza, which the person who took that picture perhaps should consider creating a fire hazard right there. You might want to take out those boxes. They started the day full of motivation, an awesome view and coffee in their hand. This cup even says, we make everything digital except coffee. And this is exactly the spirit we expect from our innovative avant-garde. Though, we would also suggest uh, making another non-digital exception for a real-life Windows update. This has been a closer look inside the spheres of inventions, but how has it been perceived from the outside surroundings of this project? We thought there would be no better way to find out than to turn to the internet's kindest place, Twitter. For the semester hack, can we create an emergency fund and put the money in there? Yup. If one sees the abundance of offers like HSF Digital and your own timetable with Dean on the side, you could despair. It is sometimes too much next to the huge workload and in general. Oh good for you, Stephen. While you're being a professor educating the future generations, I'm sitting here in my living room. You might think this is a studio, but it's actually my living room. I don't even wear pants right now. You might not even notice that because you are too busy being of academic value, conducting research or whatnot. But I need this hackathon, Stephen! Don't you ruin this for me! I need this! Otherwise I would be reporting about those mushrooms going there in the corner. God damn it, Stephen! Why do you have to ruin everything for me? God damn it! Okay, all jokes aside now. This pandemic might still rage on for a while. And education will take place digitally. It was and is the future anyway. Corona just worked as an accelerator to speed up the process. We have bright minds all over the world having a new take on learning and education and it would be careless to leave all this potential untapped. Yes, studying online is different, hard and tiresome. This was not the situation we had in mind when we enrolled at our universities, but we can change this together. Thousands of brains shaping a new future for current and coming students. Removing all barriers and making knowledge more accessible for everyone. The winning ideas are getting implemented this semester. This hackathon lasted two days, but doesn't end after two. It's just a mere starting point and it affects all of you. All of us. Even you, XAI. A12 must. <laughs>